Hello friends, I am Neil Kapoor, a people development coach and consultant providing solutions to businesses in their people development strategy. In this part 2 of the video around your effective resume, I am going to share some more secrets to help you land in your dream job. But before we proceed, let us recap what we learned earlier. In the previous video, we have talked about 1. Difference between a resume and CV and when to use which one. 2. The three formats of the resumes, reverse chronological, functional, combination. Then contact information to be included in your resume. 4. Writing a winning resume introduction. As is said, well begun is half done. So you have already begun it well. Let us now complete what we started. The next section of your resume should be around your professional experience. Relevant professional experience, this is the core of your resume, where you prove the skills that you have listed in the qualification summary. This is the section which the recruiters look at immediately after seeing your name. Always list your present two previous positions held in reverse chronological order. After each company name, you must mention the position title along with the start and the end date. For your present position, you can mention the start date followed by till present. The organization's name should be at least two font sizes larger than the remaining text. You should have around three to five bullet points of your main responsibilities and achievements under each position that you mention. There are three important points that you must consider while you are writing the bullet points. Each bullet point must begin with an action verb, have a quantifiable point, and sync with the job duty or responsibility. A few examples of these, they can be trained 120 customer service executives and managed customer complaints impacting business by X percent. Now this X percent, that can be anything that was the impact which you gave to the organization. Second, conceptualized and implemented the retail academy for development path of different role holders filling in 23% vacancies for the function. And third, spearheaded the sales performance development by launching a national intervention, thus increasing the national sales by 12%. Now, all the components that we talked about, these are included in these statements. Every recruiter looks at the academic details and the background with keen interest. After all, this is the section which displays the foundation of your knowledge and expertise. This section becomes more important if you are a fresher. In that case, you might even consider changing the order of placing your academic details before the professional details section. It is suggested that you keep this section of your resume crisp and to the point. You must always include the following name of university, college or school, location which has the city and or the state mentioned, date of graduation which is the month and year, the degree title, bachelor of science, masters in business administration uh, or whichever degree you have pursued. Next is percentage secured or grade point average GPA. However, you must include the percentage or GPA only if the percentage is above 80% or GPA if it is above 3. In case it is below these then you might want to skip adding these. Then comes the additional sections. There are some additional sections which are ubiquitous in modern resumes. These sections can be additional skills, soft skills, awards, honors and activities certifications or publications. Let me uh, share something about these. The additional skills in the resume, these are usually the technical skills which might not be central to the role which you are applying for. When you are applying for a role in finance, a skill of computer programming might not be necessary. However, it would be good to include this as an additional skill. The soft skills 
these are very critical to excel in a work environment when you are applying for a managerial position it would help to have skills like leadership adaptability and analytical thinking it would help to include a few of these on your resume matching the type of role you are applying for you can connect with me to get a list of soft skills necessary for specific roles that you are applying for and awards honor or activity section in your resume provides an evidence of your abilities to the recruiter that this is something which helps you stand out from the competition you must ensure that this section does not become too lengthy in case it does you can try to break it up into smaller sections or have it in the form of bullet pointers having professional certifications in your resume adds to your profile and gives you a step up there would be some roles where these are a requirement however even when it is not mentioned as a requirement including these might work to your advantage adding the publications to your resume if you have an extensive educational background or are a thought leader in a given field and have published articles stories books or other media that is suggested in case there are some works which are yet to be published you may mention them and label them as work in progress or submitted for publication these will be very helpful for the students and graduates who have published articles relevant to the job that they are applying for Whew. finally the hard work is done you have all that you need to portray who you are with the skills and competencies now is the time when you need to add the finishing touches and get the document finalized a few pointers on which you would want to put a tick mark are first length of a resume ideally one or maximum two pages second font size use 24 12 10 rule 24 for the name 12 for the body headers and 10 for the bullet points never ever go below 10 or beyond 16 as the font size font style choose easy to read fonts using the same font throughout the resume line breaks using lines to break the sections is advised but do not use too many of them using effective margins a basic rule is to stick with a, an inch margin on all the sides now all the tasks are done and you are ready to embark on your journey just before that remember to proofread your resume and edit it if required If you learned something from this video press on like subscribe to this channel and press on the bell icon to turn on the notifications with this you will continue to keep getting information about the new videos which are coming up stay healthy and stay blessed and keep learning new things all the best for getting your dream job namaste You can contact me for getting an effective resume for yourself. One of my team members will get back to you.